This is my first time in the Queen's Borough Oval. How many people is this their first time? Because we never knew when it was open, because it's always a tennis bubble. But we're here to set that straight. We're here to take back our park. We're here to deprivatize our public spaces. I want to start by thanking our Community Board 8 and our Parks Committee's chairs. Where are they? If they can join me up here, because uh, Barbara and Peggy have been doing so much great. Susan, thank you. Thank you very much for organizing this. Uh, Peggy and Susan for doing all this great work. And so, a little bit of history. This, as Gail Brewer mentioned, was taken from the community in 1997. They're paying $2.6 million a year for this space. Just by way of a comparable, uh, similar, this is 1.25 acres. So at 1,000 or 2,000 or even 3,000 a square foot, and about a block away, they're buying buildings that are 2,000 square feet lots for $10 million. So this piece of property is worth about anywhere between $50 million and $250 million, which means if this was just private space, it would be generating $5 million to $25 million for the community. And uh, that's a lot of money that we're giving up, and it's a lot of subsidy that we're giving to the Sutton Parks folks here. And so let's just talk about having a, a nice place to play tennis. Uh, here, if you'd like to play tennis, it's only $225 an hour. Who here has $225 an hour to play tennis? <laughs> and so that's not really accessible to our community. But if we were to keep this as a tennis space, if we were going to use it from the parks department, anywhere else where the parks has a tennis court, it's $200, not an hour, but a year. If you are under 18, it's $20. If you are over 65, it is $10. And if you wanted to just use it for one old time, it would be $15, which makes this space one order of magnitude exponentially more expensive by 15 times than a comparable space run by the Parks Department. And worse yet, this is what the space looks like when they gave it back. Look at it. It's an empty lot with dirt. If they gave us the tennis courts to use, that might be something, but they don't. They take everything away and they don't improve the area, and uh, this is actually a better condition than we've ever seen it in before. So we are here with so very many elected officials, Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer, Council Member Dan Grodnick, our Assembly Members Dan Court, Rebecca Seawright, our Senator Liz Kruger, standing with the Community Board and the community because when we stand together, we win. And I've got some good news, which is you've got some lawyers working for you. And I'm holding the uh, lease for this property, which we finally got in our hands. And uh, it expires in August of 2017. So I'm here to stand with our community board, all of our elected officials and our community to say, do not renew this lease. Spend the money that you've been earning on it on improving this place and immediately begin working with the community boards, the elected officials, and the community to figure out what kind of space we want to have here. And uh, the great news about it is we're right under the Queensboro Bridge, which means in the winter, they don't even really need to plow this park because we'll still be able to use it. So thank you all for coming out. The fight is ahead. We will need to continue fighting for the next year, and we'll need to convince the Parks Department not to renew this lease and to let it expire. Thank you, and together we will win.